What's up everyone, my name's Milo and welcome to another episode of the Forest Off-Road Project. In this episode, we're going to install a tow bar. Now adding a tow bar to the Forester has many advantages. Not only can I now tow with the Forester, but I can also add hitch mounted racks and it aids as a secondary recovery point. The tow bar I have purchased is a BTA tow bar, specifically built for the SG Forester. It's a heavy duty tow bar rated at 1,300 kilograms, which is about the maximum my Forester is engineered to tow anyway. The hitch receiver is two inches and is rated at 120 kilograms of downward force. This tow bar kit cost me 450 Australian dollars and includes all the hardware and wiring I need to install the kit. I'll put a link to this tow bar in the description below. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is remove anything in the boot and then remove the spare wheel. You will need access to the wheel well later. Next, remove the rear subframe tie down hooks and exhaust hanger bracket. I used a 17mm socket on a breaker bar to first crack the bolts. Then undid the bolts with a ratchet. I also removed the exhaust from the axle back for ease of access. Now it's time to fit the tow bar. This is best done with the help of some friends. But if you're on your own, a jack can be very handy. Position the tow bar using the jack and then secure the new bolts with a supplied flat and spring washers. Remember to fit the exhaust hanger when installing the tow bar. The new bolts were tightened with a 19mm socket. Next you have to drill a hole into the wheel well. Drill a 10mm hole using the underside of your tow bar as a pilot hole. Remember to wear safety glasses. Once the hole is drilled, secure the tow bar to the wheel well using the supplied plate, nut and washers. Make sure all the bolts are tight and refit the exhaust. Now it's time for the wiring. Remove the centre rear trim, the driver's side rear trim and expose the tow bar wiring plug. Connect the tow bar harness to the tow bar plug in the car. From here you have to find a grommet to feed the wiring harness to the outside of the car. I chose to remove the driver's side tail light and use the grommet located behind the tail light. I then used a screwdriver to poke a hole in the grommet and feed the wiring harness through that. Now wire up the plug. Pull apart the plug and strip the wire ends. This tow bar kit came with a wiring instructions, so if you have one, follow that. Once the plug is wired, put the cover back on. From here, I drilled out some holes in the rear bumper and connected the plug using nuts and bolts I found in my shed. For some reason, this kit didn't come with the hardware to secure the plug. Then I neatly cable tied the wiring harness to the tow bar. Now refit all your trim pieces. And fit the rating placards. I realised the placards are rated higher than what the kit said on the internet. Maybe they sent me a more heavy duty kit on accident. Anyway, the tow bar is now installed and now opens up more opportunities to tow and recover. One thing I really liked about this kit is the ability to lock the hitch to the tow bar. The new hitch recovery point is also looking great. 
Hi guys, I hope you enjoy this episode installing the new tow bar. If you want to see more of the Forest Off-Road project, click subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.